Hey, what's going on gamers? It's Ryan Six Days a Week, and we're going to be going over what types of player sourced magic damage can be blocked, since they're probably much more than you think. Let's begin by breaking up magic damage into four categories. We have melee magic damage, projectile magic damage, area of effect magic damage, AoE for short, and hit scan magic damage. For melee magic damage, we can confidently say that all forms of melee magic damage are currently blockable, since they depend on a physical attack connecting, which of course, can be blocked. You probably already figured this one out yourself. As for projectile magic damage, it is actually also the same. All types of projectiles in the game can in fact be blocked. That means anything with a travel time, such as Ice Bolt, Magic Missile, Fireball, and Hellfire, can technically be blocked as they will trigger the block reaction. However, some of these projectiles have an additional feature to them that may damage you. Since this is the case, we'll go through them one by one, starting with the Ice Bolt. The Ice Bolt does not have any additional damaging effects, so the entirety of the spell may be blocked by any shield or blocking weapon. Blocking the Ice Bolt also prevents Frostbite. Moving on, the Wizard's Magic Missiles also do not have any additional damaging effects, but they're casted in sequence fast enough that you can only block every other orb due to your block recovery window. It doesn't matter if you're running shield perks or are using a larger shield too. It will always be 50% missiles blocked and 50% passing through. A small tip though, if you do happen to be closing in on an enemy wizard, you can actually use your shield or any blocking surface to bump their active casting hand and end the magic missile channeling early. It can be risky to do, but pretty useful if you pull it off. For the wizard's fireball, there's an AoE splash that will always damage you even if you successfully block the fireball itself. I think this one is still worth blocking though, if you aren't in the best position to dodge since the splash damage only makes up about 33% of the fireball's total damage. So you're blocking two thirds of the damage from a direct hit. For the warlock's hellfire, it also technically can be blocked as in it triggers a block reaction, but unlike any other magic projectiles, hellfire does not get consumed by hitting surfaces so you really won't do anything but stagger yourself. One of the really really rare applications where I can imagine you'd want to block a hellfire is if you'd want to trigger a parry repost off of it, but who would be crazy enough to do that? This projectile blocking roll also extends to PvE as well, so any ranged monster attack with travel time can be blocked, even the boss ones. Just know that some will have an unblockable splash component like the lich's attacks and the skeleton mage's fireball. So, though you can block these, it is much more worth it to dodge instead, since they're PvE. Now for hitscan spells, and this one is one that may really surprise you, at the moment all of Dark and Darker's hitscan spells can actually be blocked. It technically does not trigger the block reaction, but it does consume the spell and does no damage to the player, so you can consider it effectively blocked. However, since there's no travel time, being able to block a hitscan is more dependent on your opponent's aim than your own blocking skills since you're relying on them to cast at your upper body where your shield is and not your feet which will always be sticking out. I imagine the only application for this in high level play is by baiting out the cast and then raising your shield to block partway through the actual animation. Oh, in a special case is a cleric's judgment. Its original cast can be blocked by a shield but it doesn't trigger the skill's cooldown. So technically, it can be blocked, but the caster is not really penalized in any way. Finally, for AoEs, the rule is just as simple, but inverse. At this moment, absolutely no AoE spells may be blocked or will trigger the block reaction. This includes Lightning Strike, which was once rumored to be blockable if you look directly at the sky. But it definitely doesn't work, no matter the size of your shield. Oh, and while we're on this topic, all AoE spells will actually damage through any type of surface, so you can use them through doors and walls depending on their effective area. Okay, so to summarize blockable magic, melee magic can be completely blocked across the board. Ice Bolt can be completely blocked with no damage or frostbite taken. Magic Missile can be blocked but 50% will slip through. Fireball, two thirds of the damage can be blocked with one third in splash hitting you. Hellfire will trigger the block reaction, but projectile will not be destroyed in the blocking process. Chain Lightning, the primary cast, Zap, Slow, Curse of Weakness, Power of Sacrifice, Curse of Pain, and Bind can all be blocked if they target your shield. And all AoEs, of course, cannot be blocked. Now, we didn't cover it much in this video, since they aren't technically spells, 
but as of now, the barred AoE songs are not blockable, as they don't utilize any kind of projectile or sightline mechanic. This of course is subject to change in the future. One thing that you may have noticed throughout this video, primarily in the projectile section, is the fact that different blocks led to different block recovery time. This is actually an in-game function, and not something that happens at a chance. We'll be discussing this in depth in an upcoming video that covers impact power, sour spot blocking, and really focuses on melee blocking mechanics, so stay tuned for that. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to comment down below, message me in our channel discord linked in the description, or even ask me live if I'm playing. If there's any huge changes to how magical projectiles or hitscans work in the future, I'll be sure to update the information below or even replace this video entirely if needed. Just know that if this video is still listed, this information is the most up to date we have. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.